to tell us die here. I've got so many videos that I'm working on. I got so much stuff to do. It's unbelievable. That's why I wasn't really looking forward to the video I had to do earlier. I had to throw it together really throw it together really quick and just kinda of toss it out there. But some of these videos are gonna be pretty quick. Um something something <laughs> twisted in my spirit the other day when I got a little I seen a I'm not even gonna mention what I seen in the mail. I heard recently that there's a census in the United States of America. And when I'd seen that, something hit me, and I had to go hunting for it. Um, here, let me bring up word search so I can, we can take a look at this and kind of, because I love doing the word searches. They're so much fun. It's a great way to, to study the Bible. Um, so let's do a search real quick for the word census. And see what we come up with. Zero. Oh, well, it would help if you spelled it right, wouldn't it? <laughs> Still zero. That's odd, because it shows up in here many more times. Anyway, I seen that, that they were doing a census in the United States um, in the year 2020, and it hit me. Uh, wasn't there a census in the year of the birth of our Lord and Savior? And I started, started hunting for it and started doing some searches. And you can see in the ISV, uh, it shows up here 20 times, 21 matches. Um, in the King James, it doesn't come up at all. In the modern King James, I think it comes up twice. Uh, which is which is weird, and I wanted to. It's totally off topic, and I'm going to go off topic here for a minute. We'll get right back to this. I just wanted to mention I don't I don't promote one version of the Bible over the other. King James, ISV. Um, I I do have a copy of uh, the Tree of Life version, TLV version, because um, they use uh, the name Yeshua and Adonai, and I just love it. I love the way. Um, it's kind of like poetry. It just flows. It, it's it's a really beautiful Bible. I I've done a lot of background work on all these different uh, translations, and I came across some astounding things when I looked into the King James. Um, he wasn't a good man. He wasn't. Uh, granted, he was fighting against the Catholic Church so he could get a divorce on his wife. He may have murdered her afterwards. That's a whole other topic, but. Um, I know a lot of people promote the King James as being the best translation. It's definitely the most widely available, but uh, and and the first Bible I read cover to cover was the King James. I just it's it's very muckety muck for me. It's we don't speak that way. Uh, we don't we don't write that way, and it's just uh, it may be one of the best translations. I don't know. I am not the authority on this. I am a I am a child when it comes to the Word of God, and I, I will be the rest of my days, however many those are. Um, I could be here for another thousand years and still probably just be a child in the Word. It's, it's just so, it's so deep. It really is. There's so much to it. Um, the only reason I went off topic, though, was one of my favorite versions, uh, as of recently, has become the ISV, the International Standard Version. Um, they translated directly from the Septuagint, um, and they were still, uh, the people that were running the site were still accepting um, ideas about different translations and still working on it, and they were supposed to come out with a hard copy version in 2011. It didn't happen, and I've been watching these people very close because I really want to get my hands on a physical copy of this Bible. I just want it. I love this version. Um, not promoting it or, or anything else above anything else. That's just not who I am. But um, there's something about the ISP. It just touches me. It really does. It's a beautiful, beautiful translation. Funny thing, ISV.org disappeared. You, know, you can go out and buy that that uh, URL now. They're gone. They've disappeared. The, the, the 2011 never happened. The, the hard copy never came out. You can get some... Uh, electronic copies for Eastward or over on Amazon, you can get electronic copies, but there's no physical copy. And 
as much as I've been into looking at conspiracies and how they theories turn into facts really quickly, it just it's very puzzling to me how these people have done disappeared and the physical copy never was manifested and just something to that. There's something there. I don't know what it is. Maybe one of you has an explanation that's completely logical and it would totally make sense, but I've looked and I dead end road every time. Every time I try and hunt this down or hunt out what's going on or I get nowhere with it. And here we are nine years after we're supposed to have a hard copy version of it. We got nothing. And these people have seemingly disappeared from the face of the earth. Uh, the website's down and they're not doing anything now. So it's just to me, it, knowing the forces that control this world seems very red flaggy. I'll leave it at that. Um, going back now, uh, there's a census this year in the USA, uh, 2020, and I remembered um, there was a census the year of our Lord. Not the word census. When you look at the ISV, it comes up here 20 times. Uh, you can take a look at that yourself. It's amazing. Um, the version I wanted to go to doesn't even use the word census. I was hunting this down and I couldn't find it and I was getting frustrated because I was like, I know there was a census the year um, our Messiah was born and here it is. They don't use the word uh, census. Uh, Luke 2 1. Now in those days an order was published by Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be registered. This was the first registration taken while Quirinius was governor of Sirius while the people went to their hometowns to be registered. Joseph too went up from the city of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descendant of the household of the family of David. He went there to be registered with Mary who had been promised to him in marriage and was pregnant. While they were there the time came for her to have her baby and she gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him in strips of cloth and laid him in a feeding trough because there was no place for them in the guest quarters. Now there may be nothing to this. There may be something to it. There may be much more. And that's one of the reasons I love putting out these videos is I love hearing feedback on maybe there's something to this. You know, there's a census. And there's been many censuses, of course, but it just the times we're in. Uh, census this year and, and thinking back to uh, the year our Savior was born there was also a census so any thoughts any feedback I would greatly appreciate it God bless much love